Hey Spices! So every weekend I make breakfast for my family. And usually one of the days I make waffles. And since our friends at Vever sent me a waffle maker, I'm gonna show you how to make homemade waffles. If you wanna know how to make homemade waffles, let's go spice things up. We are going to add the dry ingredients together first, which is two cups of flour, just all purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and then this maple cinnamon topping. You can actually add it into waffles or pancakes. You can also add it on top. Now I'm gonna stir the dry ingredients together. Now for the wet ingredients, which is one and a half cups of milk, one third cup of melted butter, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs. Stir the ingredients up together. We are testing out our new waffle maker. All right, so I'm gonna plug in my waffle maker from Vever so it can start heating up. So if you can see, the power is on and then I can turn it on whatever temperature I want. So this started beeping to let me know that it was heated up and the lights both on each side um, turned green to let me know. I just need to unlock it and I'm gonna open it up and then I'm gonna use some cooking spray to spray it. Now I'm just gonna get the batter with the cup that it comes with. Close it up, lock it in place. Now I can turn it over and start on the other side. And this is great for when you have like a big family, a lot of kids, you don't wanna wait. And like I said, if I add too much, it will catch on this tray down below. Close it up and just lock it in place. Turn it over, back to this one. And let me just see if it's ready. Yeah, I like it like that. And you can just take it out with some tongs. Now, if you like them crispier than that, you can go ahead and leave them on longer, but that's how I like them, like this. Close this one up, lock it, turn it, let's check it. Yeah, that looks good for me. Vever makes an assortment of products from desks to kayak carts to privacy screens. They make so many different types of products. If you would like to see what they make or even order any of these, the link will be in the description box below. Now for this batch, I'm gonna add some frozen blueberries to it. Not that many. And so I like to either add blueberries or I like to add chocolate chips. You can do whatever you want. Oh, that's letting me know that it is hot and it's ready for me to put more in. Close it up. And turn it over. Unlock it again, open this one up. This really helps save on the time because my family's always like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, what is ready. This way, you can make double the amount. And you can also make other things in waffle makers. You can make um, grilled cheese sandwiches. You can, um, you can throw a little pizza on here. They'll all be, they'll all have, of course, the little waffle and dents but they're a lot of fun. Let's close this one up. And like I mentioned, you can turn the temperature up or down, because um, as you know, waffle makers get super hot. I'm gonna turn it to the first side and check it. Wow, those look pretty. You can see the berries. Mm-hmm. Check it out, look at those. And as you can see, it is super easy to make waffles 
in this Vivo Waffle Maker. Link will be in the description box below if you'd like to purchase this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Bye and see you in the next video.